explain slenderness ratio. The slenderness ratio is the ratio of the effective length to the appropriate radius of gyration lambda by KL by R. This is valid only when the column has equal unbraced heights for both axes and conditions are same for both axes. The appropriate radius of gyration is one which is minimum for a particular section. For example, a section asymmetrical about the centroidal axis will bend about the principal axis VV for which the radius of gyration is minimum. On the other hand, a section symmetrical about both the centroidal axis or even with one axis of symmetrical will bend about one of the centroidal axis giving lesser radius of gyration. The slenderness ratio should be kept as small as possible. This can be achieved by selecting a section which provides the largest value of the minimum radius of gyration without providing more area or by reducing the unsupported length of the column by some means. Maximum radius of gyration is calculated when material is farthest from the center. If feasible, then the unsupported length can be reduced and thus permitting use of eight smaller sections at high average stress. If this is possible in only one direction, then the value of the unsupported length will be different for two directions. Sections with different radii of gyration in two directions may be so chosen as to obtain the values of the two slenderness ratios lambda xx and lambda yy with least different. The larger of the two would be used for the determination of the nominal axial compressive stress. An I section electric pole fixed at the base and carrying wires parallel to the road is an example wherein the wires provide a hinge condition in the direction of wires. One is equal to 0.8 L and with free end condition in the perpendicular direction, one is equal to 2 L. The section is used to its full strength by providing flanges parallel to the direction of wires and thus attempting to equalize lambda XX and lambda YY. Why is slenderness ratio of compression members limited? The effect of accidental and construction like fabrication, transportation and erection loads are automatically taken care of. The bracing members may be used as a walkway for workmen or to provide temporary support for equipment. To take care of the probability of members being subjected to unexpected vibrations. Maximum permissible slenderless ratio. The related terms are 